Taking a look from the operations with whole numbers and decimals worksheet, question number 12, it says to find the quotient of 53.1 divided by 4.8. We are not rounding. We need to solve this. We have 53.1, that would go on the inside, and 4.8 would go on the outside. But before we do that, we need to move the decimal places. Our divisor cannot have any decimals in it. So we're going to move 4.8, we're going to move over once to the right. Okay, it's going to become 48. 53.1, we're going to move that over once to the right because whatever you do to the divisor, you have to do to the dividend. So we now have the statement 531 divided by 48. So 531 is going to go on the inside. 48 is going to go on the outside. Okay. Nick, how many times does 45 go into, or 48 go into 5? Zero. Zero times. Okay. Mason, what about 53? How many times is 48 going to go into 53? Once. Once. Okay, so then we're going to say 1 times 48, subtract. 53 minus 48 is what? Uh, Mackenzie. 53 um. minus 48. Five. Okay, we have five left over. What would our next step be? What do we have to do, Tony? What should I bring down? One. The one. I need to bring down the one. So we now have 51. How many times does 48 go into 51, David? 48 goes into 51 one time. One time. One times 48 is 48. I'm left over with three. At this point, I need to add a decimal and a zero, but I also need to add an, a decimal up top. Okay, that's very important. Don't forget about the decimal. I'm going to bring down that zero. Does 48 go into 30? No. No. Okay, so I'm going to write zero times. Zero times 48 is zero. Subtract that, I have a remainder of 30. I need to add another zero. I'm going to bring that down. I have 300. Okay, well, 48 is pretty close to 50, guys. And 50 times 6 is 300. Okay, so I'm going to say that that goes, 48 goes into 300 six times. Okay, um, there would be 2 left over out of 48. So 2 times 6 is 12. So I'd take 300 and I'd subtract 12 from that and it would be 288. Okay, that's how I do some mental math with that multiplication instead of multiplying it out. Okay, I have a remainder of 12 at that point. I'm going to go off to the side here and do that, continue the problem. Okay, I have a remainder of 12. I have that zero that I have to bring down. How many times does 48 go into 120? Who knows? 48 going into 120. Two times. It's going to go in two times. And two times 48 is going to be 96. 96. When I subtract that off, I'd have a remainder of 24. Okay, and at that point, we're bringing down another zero off to the side here. And we have 48 going into 240. And that's going to go in exactly five times because if you think 48 times 10 is 480 and half of 480 is 240. So it's going to go in five times exactly. 5 times 48 is going to be 240. Subtract that off. You've got a remainder of 0, and you're done. Okay, so your final answer is 11.0625, and you would box that in. And that's it for question number 12.